I'm going to sew a new variety of bezel called British bezel. And I learned about it uh, in a um, seed company's website. I'm not sure this variety of British bezel is organic or is uh, GM. But it says it's a called uh, Hardy variety of basil and uh, so I'm going to sew this just to see how it is and uh, it says it's suitable for our summers or probably our autumns if I do it indoors probably it can survive through the most of the autumn or who knows probably in the winter so I'm going to sew this now and I'll show you how it looks the sewing time is uh, for it is written here that this is a British breeding uh, variety of basil uh, shows more tolerance to cold, colder weather, winds and light frost. So how far the annual uh, plant? So uh, they say it is easy to grow, is suitable for growing outdoors. I have done outdoors already once and it worked, but uh, that, they were just normal basil. And uh, this one, if it tolerates outdoor growth, probably tolerates also indoor growth through the autumn and winter. If it is suitable for outdoor in summer and spring, it can tolerate outdoor as uh, indoors in the um, autumn and winter. So I'm just doing an experiment now on this. Okay, this is the seed packet. It looks very light in the number of the seeds that it has. So I'm just going to open it and see how much we have here. Okay, that's all the seeds that we have in this. So probably around 80 seeds at the most. And the price of the, on the pack is two pound and 29 pence or penny. Um, that is from uh, Morgan Yeah, I correct myself, uh, uh, from the Thompson and Morgan. And that means every single seed of it costs three penny, which is quite expensive. <laughs> so I'm going now to sow it and hopefully the, they will germinate and I'll, if I can, I will save some of the seeds for later. If it is not a GM or anything that you have to all the time buy. If it is organic, probably we can save it the seeds anybody knows if it is organic if, if you have already grown this okay I have here nine modules and I'm going to grow five seeds in each of these to make sure that we have a good germination but before that I moistened the compost okay I have now moistened thoroughly the um, compost so the seed will have uh, good germination. The seed will be inside this electric propagator, which I got from the um, B and Q. I have videos about it, and it's really good. Um, I will say why I'm doing it inside the propagator. It is Sunday, 26th of the August. As you can see, it's a cold day in a way that we have now to keep us warm and it's raining so it's not the best time for sowing the seed without uh, providing a heat we had a drought for a long time and now the rain is coming but the grass has not recovered yet so that's the reason a propagator is necessary we have to use a propagator is getting cold however I like experiments and I will try to grow this seed as they say it's cold hardy so we have to see that how it germinates they say it germinates above 50 degrees this propagator gives around 19 to 20 degrees of temperature 21 degrees so we will see how it will do I'm not going to sow five or more of seeds inside each one of these modules Okay, as you can see, the black 
charcoal colored uh, seeds are there more than five in each module this amount is probably around 20 yeah 20 25 has remained I will keep them for later use it's not a cheap seed and uh, I will uh, put this uh, inside the propagator and connect it to the electric Okay, and now it is in the propagator and propagator is connected to the electric. I'm going to put the uh, cover on it. But uh, I'm just reminding again, the whole purpose of this experiment is to see if I can have basil inside the polytunnel uh, for the autumn, late autumn and winter with some protection like cloth and everything on it. So. If it is a really British uh, cold tolerant uh, variety of basil, I should have a good success with this. So I'm going now to cover it. And we will see how it does. Okay, uh, in the 26th we saw some British basil. Um, I was in a hurry to plant it as soon as possible, so I used the propagator. And today is the 28th of the uh, August, and in two days you can see they have germinated. So, it's very quick germination. British basil, a cold, hardy, new variety of basil. So we will see how this will do. Okay, now that we have the germination, I open the ventilation holes to let the air flow. Because I don't want to get uh, damp and suffer from the other things. I may even remove this now. Yeah, the germination has happened. We don't need this. So I let this propagator be on, but at the same time I let the plants be free and don't suffer from the mildew and mold. Okay, uh, today is the third day that uh, after sowing the British basil, a cord hardy variety of basil. So after three days in the propagator, they have now germinated. So we have first leaves. These are not the true leaves, of course. These are the uh, leaves from the seed, or as they call it, embroidered uh, leaves. And all, all of the seeds that have sown have germinated. If I can grow this to a good size, then at the end of the season, if, when they go to seed, I uh, can save some of the seeds. That would be great. Look at the beauty of this. Yeah. Beautiful germination. Today is the 31st of August and this is the fifth day of sowing of the British basil seeds. And as you can see the um, leaves are sprouted and I can see the first true leaves actually trying to come out. Very interesting germination rate. Um, partly because the seeds were fresh, very good. Partly because I have used a propagator and I have now removed the cap, the lead, so they can, you know, ventilation is free here. But they need a little watering, I will water them later after this video, probably. But they are doing well, I'm surprised. We are near the, as they call it, the meteorological autumn. And yet, 
they have done well. It's amazing how fast the things can germinate. This is the cold hardy British basil that I planted two weeks ago. And uh, in the first three days it germinated, or two days it germinated. And now it's given the uh, first true leaves, those are the embryonic leaves, the big ones, and the tiny ones at the center are the first true leaves. So I'll keep it here until those true leaves are big enough, then I will uh, plant them in the polytunnel. They look amazingly beautiful. But for this time of the year, I think that's, that's good. You can see the true leaves are actually looking like basil leaves. So, okay, this is around one month since the, I saw this British basil, a new cold hardy basil as the, it claims and uh, they are now in the fourth stage, fourth uh, or second real leaves stage, four leaves. The original leaves were embroidered, you know, that is the, what is known as the center. Then the second leaves came, then now the third ones. And uh, they are getting gradually growing leggy, so I have to pot them probably next time. It's around one month past. They have all germinated very good. In the, in the first day I saw they have uh, swollen, the seeds have swollen. Second day they germinated, and then now you see that it is like this. I was not really hopeful. I thought that's just a propaganda advert. But now, as you can see, they are doing really well. You may remember about a month ago I saw some seeds of the British basil. It's a cold hardy basil according to the claim on the package. And uh, after one month you see that they are ready almost now to have the first harvest. I'm going to harvest a few of the leaves. Before that I'll just show you how the state of the plants look now. What's the state of the plants? Okay, I've now harvested a few leaves. That's enough, just I don't want to do mu too much damage to the plant. The light level in the winter in autumn are going down, so I just give them a little bit trimming, just a few leaves. Uh, the interesting thing is that uh, they are quite resi uh, resilient in the drought, so I'm not giving them much water. Practically, basils don't like much water anyway. Uh, I just keep them moist and uh, that's enough, nothing more than that.